Hi guys, I um, have often heard it said that man has a tendency to create gods, to anthropomorphise uh, natural events and uh, that was never more apparent to me than when I watched a recent video on the creation of the Ajanta Caves which are, are, are an amazing cliffside cave uh, complex, um, several thousand years old I think they're in India. Uh, there's, I'll, I'll put a link. It's, it's on uh, YouTube. And these caves have been carved out of solid granite over 600 years. And the entire first half of the video, it's a proper documentary, is, is uh, all about how incredible these caves are, how they align to different solstices and point to different planets, and how, how a lot of these alignments you would have to go inside this solid granite that takes so long to get into, and then carve back out to get these portals that point directly at, you know, the sun at certain times of the day. Amazing feat. And, and then the whole second half was all about, so which aliens was it that built them? And it, it annoys me immensely to see this. And I realise that, that this really is the aliens of the gap argument. And I, I'm sure you've seen it. You know, the twaddle that Von Daniken used to do, um, the, the, the books that he wrote, or was it Chariots of the Gods? And, and, and it seems to me, I, I don't know if these people are Christians as well, but if they're not, I would call it the aliens of the gaps argument, you know, that, that they, they have such contempt for mankind that they don't believe that people 3,000, 5,000 years ago could possibly have been sophisticated enough to have used maths and measuring and pointing at stars and things like that. So instead it must be aliens, it must be aliens that did the, the, the pyramid at Giza, it must be aliens who did the Nazca lines, it must be aliens who did this, that and the other. And all of these amazing things that show that mankind is actually had a much longer history of technical excellence than than perhaps uh, we, we give them credit for, uh, are all attributed to, to aliens. And I, and I don't even dismiss the possible existence of aliens, or, although um, the distances between uh, stars are, are make it unlikely that with anything we can currently uh, imagine that, that people have got here, I mean, but who knows, you know, you could have ge generational ships or whatever, or wormholes, controllable wormholes, whatever, I don't want to go down that line, you know, that's a um, just pure scientific conjecture, um, and, and it's entirely plausible that aliens have visited, but it's, it, it's, it's equally more likely that they haven't, and that these are just a product of fantastically, in, uh, not even intelligent, just, just, people who understood the way that physics and science and cosmology and astronomy worked and, and um, mechanics and things like that, you know, I mean, for sure the Great Pyramid at Giza is is, um, is interesting. There are many, many theories about how it was constructed, but that doesn't mean to say that it, it must definitely have been constructed by aliens because it had big blocks of stone in it, you know, and, and um, it, it just... It really irritates me to see the disrespect to these these ancient builders shown by saying that they, they must be aliens. But it does just reveal this this tendency to to um to defer our own mastery of of our small part of the universe to to other people, be it God or be it aliens. And uh, I I just think there are a bunch of people. I I, I guess it's um, an extension of the appeal to incredulity, which is to say, if I can't imagine how amazing it is, how that could possibly have happened, then it can't have happened by natural means, uh, which in a way is the worst form of arrogance because it says that the, the only thing that can be natural is what, what, what can be explained by your own limited imagination and your own limited experience. Anyway guys, just a thought, I um, hope you're having a great day, you take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take the time to rate and comment, and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Thank you.